Hunt Showdown, in my opinion, is one of the best multiplayer PvP first person shooters you can play. Now, strictly, it isn't just a PvP game. It's PvP VE, and it's sort of an extraction shooter, sort of. But it's one of those games that is really simple to get into. It's not complex at all. It can be a super rewarding game, but also it can be a frustrating game. For me, it's one of those games that I will just sit down and play week after week after week with my friend constantly saving his ass and reviving him. And then we'll get on a little bit of a bad run and we'll put it down for like a couple of weeks or so. And then we'll get straight back to it, smashing or really attempting to smash every hunter we find and getting those boss bounties. So in case you don't know what Hunt Showdown's all about, here's the setup. You either play solo, duos or trios, and you recruit a hunter, basically buy a hunter, give that hunter a bunch of weapons and equipment, you go into a map which is randomly chosen for you, and the objective is to hunt down a boss, kill the boss, get its bounty token, and extract. To find where the boss is, you can luckily either randomly come across it, or interact with clues at the various locations of the map, which will sort of narrow down a search area for you. Having these clues pretty much makes it so you have to go to certain locations and it makes other players go to those same locations so it forces players to come together and it will then all sort of guide you to the boss area and when the boss is killed that location is revealed on the map so everyone can go there and kill each other pretty much. It's a really fun game. So I said it's really simple to get into and it is that game mode. It is really simple and there's a tutorial you can play to help you get into it. And one thing that does make it simple to get into as well is the gunplay. It's sort of simple and easy to learn because there's no bullet drop, there is bullet travel, there's not too much sway on the weapons and most weapons are single shot or at least semi-auto. One thing that makes the whole gunplay side of Hunt Showdown so damn good is that every single gun in the game is a viable option because every single gun in the game can one shot kill someone to the head. It just depends on what range you're at. Of course, long bolt action rifles are going to be able to get headshots for that one shot kill at a longer distance than something compared to a six shooter revolver. You just got to play to your gun strengths, right? There's no point charging out there with a shotgun at least try and do something a bit first or maybe even switch to a pistol just to try and keep the enemy pinned down or wound them a bit so then you can move up. And because every weapon is so deadly, every gunfight is just like so tense, right? It's really, really tense because, and this is where the frustrating side can come out, is that one wrong move or if you miss that one shot, you could then just get headshot and killed. But on the flip side, killing players feels so damn good. And if you can pull off something where you quickly kill two enemy players or rescue your friend by killing someone who's just killed him, something like that, it feels amazing. Oh, on me, both of them. Two hillbillies. Oh no fucking way, Terry! <laughs> Don't die to dogs. Don't die to dogs. <laughs> Get wrecked! <laughs> you fucking knobheads. So if you remember, I said it's kind of like an extraction shooter. And yeah, it kind of is. Because you do need to go into a mission, kill the boss, get his bounty, and extract. But instead of building up like a huge amount of gear and like epic weapons and stuff, you do get weapons and store them in an inventory. But really the whole part of this game is your hunters because when you die, that hunter is dead. It's gone. And those hunters can level up. And when you level up, you get upgrade points and you can use those upgrade points to get perks. These perks can be 
something like better damage resistance to melee attacks, fire, poison. You can track poisoned people. You will have less sway when aiming with certain weapons. They can be really good and really beneficial. So when you get a high level hunter that gets killed, then yeah, it can suck. But that's part of the game, really. Just get another hunter and get straight back into it. And there's a huge amount of variation in the weapons you can get in the game as well. And like I said earlier, they're all viable. Everything from like six shooter revolvers, lever action rifles, single shot shotguns, pump shotguns, double barrel shotguns, a crossbow, bow and arrow, bolt action rifles, sniper variants. It's all there. And yeah, it's all viable. One build I like to run, and it probably sounds a bit rubbish, is a bow and arrow and a sword. Because a bow and arrow, I mean, if you get a headshot with a bow and arrow, it's an insta-kill, like pretty much every weapon in the game, but it's really, really silent. And then if it comes to like an up-close engagement, the bow and arrow, again, is still really, really powerful, even if you get a close-range shot on the chest, or I can just whip out my melee weapon and try and smash someone in the head of it to insta-kill them. But you also get lots of different types of equipment as well. Everything from just dynamite and frag bombs that you can throw to bees in a jar, molotovs, barbed wire bombs, and other little traps you can put down. It's so damn good. And there's really no sort of meta loadout. I don't think you really ever come across someone who's carrying the exact same stuff as someone else. There'll always be a slight variation. And that's another great thing about this game. Other games, you do get meta builds and meta loadouts and people try to run the same certain equipment because it's the best but in hunt showdown generally it's like situational like the best equipment but if you're good at the game then anything can be the best and even though the game's a bit aged at the moment like i don't think it looks aged or plays like an old game it fully released four years ago and it's got a really strong player base when you look on Steam charts. And yeah, the devs are still working on the game, still gets a lot of patches. A new boss has recently been added to the game called Rotjaw or a Crocodile, which just hides in rivers and stuff. And they're adding a lot more to the game and upgrading the Cry Engine, which is the graphics engine power in the game, which should bring a lot of other improvements or hopefully other improvements to the game. I truly think everyone should try hunt showdown because it does offer quite a unique experience and if you can play with at least one friend then it is a damn good game and i don't think you'll regret your purchase at all it's time to hunt get hunt showdown it's fucking awesome and frustrating at the same time